What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm showing you my top 50 Cydia tweaks. Now I wanted to show you the flip side of that with a top 50 free Cydia tweaks video, where I'm gonna show you some of the best Cydia tweaks you can get right now that are absolutely free. And these include a lot of brand new ones that I've never shown you before, so let's get into it. And of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken. So you can find a link to that either right there or down below in the description. You don't even need a computer to do this. That's the best part. Love them or hate them, you can get iOS 10's new look of the emojis right now in iOS 9 with iOS 10 emojis. So not only are the icons changed completely, there's a ton of new emojis. Namely, of course, the water gun emoji. So Apple is playing it safe this time around by including a water gun emoji and I gotta say I don't know I prefer the old one but it looks kind of cool too it's the new look of the emojis that this tweak is mostly all about now unless the other person is on iOS 10 and you send them these emojis they're just gonna see the old style so keep that in mind and emojiant I think that's how you pronounce it will make your emojis bigger just like they are in iOS 10 once again keep in mind this is only on your end so it'll appear much bigger to you but when you send it to someone it won't be so it's it's just bigger on your end, but hey, it does look good. And Nude Keys has just gone free. So this is one of my favorite Cydia tweaks, which is now 100% free. It'll change the look of your keyboard in a gradient color. So you can choose the top color, bottom color, and it'll blend them together very, very well. I mean, it is so, so nice. And the color combinations are endless. I mean, it really, really looks good the more diverse you get, but get this really cool effect on your keyboard with nude keys. Cylinder is a must have for anyone new to jailbreaking. It adds effects when you swipe in between pages and they really are endless with cylinder. So it's a completely free replacement to barrel and you have so, so many effects. So for example, this one right here, I mean, really the list goes on and on. That's what I love about it, completely free too. So just like that feature Apple introduced in iOS 10 where when you would press the power button, haptic feedback gives you this tactile feedback on button press. And it's actually really nice feeling. So you press the home button, you press volume buttons, and you get this feeling immediately knowing that it was activated. It just feels really nice. So that's haptic feedback. And here's Rocket for Instagram. It's like Insta better, but better. <laughs> so this one actually introduces features for the new stories feature that allows you to save them, view them anonymously, just using these little buttons right here. Not only that, of course, you can hold onto photos, you can zoom in to them, save them directly from here. I mean, it's just an all around huge Instagram hack and that's what's awesome about it. Even view profile pictures just by holding on them. Very, very diverse tweak, definitely better than Insta better. This one is very subtle, but I do like it. And it's the El Capitan loading indicator. So it'll replace your usual loading bar with a spinning beach ball, just like it is in El Capitan. So it's up here in the status bar as well. If you have a refresh, you'll notice you have that little beach ball right there. So a very nice aesthetic change. So you'll notice I do have a custom skin on my phone. It's a theme called Two-Tone, and that's courtesy of Anemone. It's a theming platform that is much, much better than Winterboard. So I highly recommend you use this. This is the one you're gonna use to install any themes and skins on your device, and you can really change the look of it using Anemone. And this lock screen theme that I was using earlier is called Incepted. So the actual theme is free. The platform to install it with though is not. Lock HTML4 is required for it. But this guy is a really clean look to get you know, your calendar, your clock on your lock screen. And it looks really, really cool. Of course, you can move it around wherever you want, but I like to have it up here. Looks really, really clean. Also down here, that is Lock Glyph. Now I talk about this one a lot, but it's just because it's one of the nicest little tweaks you can install and there are so many skins for it. There are tons of them. Pokemon, like car brands, like this is an urban lock glyph theme and it's just a very nice subtle animation when unlocking your phone. And one of the fastest ways to change the look of your device is by changing the system font with Vitafont 3. So I'm using Caviar Dreams right now for everybody wondering and it changes it everywhere. So that text will be different everywhere. In settings, it's very, very noticeable. Someone will look at your device and they'll automatically know things are different just because of the font. So I would highly recommend by default three. And here is Tiny Player Lite. So if you guys like to multitask and change your music, it's nice to have a little interface for it. So here is Tiny Player. You can go ahead and start controlling music from here. And of course to change your music, just double tap on it and it will change it for you. Triple tap to go back. Easily get it out of the way. Just go about doing your thing, whatever it is, and easily play and pause music from it. So cool little interface to do that with. Now Recero 9 is a tiny bar replacement. It will replace your notification bar with a very, very slim and thin notification bar just like that. So instead of it 
taking up a lot of space on your device. It'll just come up in that little tiny bar right there, which looks really, really nice. 3D touch notifications will allow you to easily get that iOS 10 feature to clear all notifications just by 3D touching anywhere in your notification pane. And easy, just like that, it's all removed. And when deleting photos, Delete Forever will give you a prompt to permanently delete the photos. So you don't have to go through that annoying step where you have to go into your recently deleted folder and delete everything again from there. Just do it once using Delete Forever. So let's get some iPhone 6S features on any other device. This is an iPhone 6 for that matter. Anyways, first off is Peek and Pop. I've shown you this one before. It allows you to add 3D touch gestures to any device using screen sensitivity. So it's not a long press. A long press will still, you know, activate the wiggle mode. It's actually force. And the harder you press, you know, it will activate those menus. Now, little note, put the sensitivity up to 85 for the initial one up here. Here. It helps a lot to get those to work. Next up is enable live photos. So you can enable the live photos feature right here from within the camera, just like on an iPhone 6S. So if I go ahead and take a picture and then you hold on, it will enable that feature again. This is an iPhone 6, really, really awesome. Also within the camera app is Front Flash. So Front Flash will do just that. It will enable a flash on the front of the display. So it's not as bright as the 6S, but it does still work. And this is Untethered Hey Siri. It's the exclusive feature on newer iPhones to go ahead and activate Siri just by saying, Hey Siri, on any other device. So you can set it to always as well. Hey Siri and it should work just like that. And this is Bigify. So change the size of the icons on your display. You can either make them bigger or as I did here, smaller. You can also change the angle of them, remove the badges to make it really, really clean. It's pretty diverse tweak and absolutely free. Now, Virtual Home 7 is a virtual home button. So just with a tap, you can go ahead and use the home button without actually needing to press it. Unlike Virtual Home 8 and 9, Virtual Home 7 is absolutely free. It'll act as a home button just like 8 and 9. However, this version is absolutely free. So if you didn't wanna pay for the newer one, this one still works just fine. Proximity Lock allows you to lock your device just just with a wave on top of it. And here is Flip Control Center. I like this one a little bit more than CC Settings just because you can customize the bottom row as well. Just like CC Settings, you can slide over, have all of your toggles here. It does change the look of them a little bit, but you can actually change how many you want to appear You know, in the rows. I have six set right here. I think it's the cleanest look on a larger 6S Plus, but the bottom, same deal. And this with long CCB makes for a great control center. So what that does, if you hold on any toggle, it'll take you to the page belonging to that toggle and this is no slow animation so opening up apps just became so much faster closing them I mean your animation system wide have been sped up using this application and you can change of course the speed the intensity of animations but man it makes your device feel so much faster much faster than it is. Another animation tweak is Cheesecake. So add the Android animation for locking your device to your lock screen. And here is Boot Sound. So whenever you respring or reboot your device, you can choose a custom sound for it. So imagine sitting in a coffee shop and that sound comes up, someone looks over and you're just sitting on your phone. <laughs> but anyways, really cool. And there's another one to go along with this and that's unlock sound. So unlock sound adds lock and unlock sounds, many to choose from to your device. Namely, I use it for the classic unlock sound just like that. It's been missing for a while, but you can choose these sounds to unlock and lock your device. An extremely useful one is dim. So dim allows you to dim your device beyond what Apple lets you dim your device with that usually. So let's say right here, you know, right here, we can pretty much not even see our display at all. So be careful with that, but you can actually get it to be more dimmed than it usually is using this meter right here. And if you guys aren't a fan of nude keys, I highly recommend Belord. So it enables the system-wide darker keyboard everywhere. Instead of it being just in some areas, like on the springboard right here, you can now have it everywhere on your device and it's a very, very clean look. And here are a couple charging tweaks. The first one is charge pulse. So as soon as I put my device into charge, take a look at the battery icon. It'll start to pulse in and out representing the fact that it is currently charging. So a very, very subtle animation. Now this one is much more useful. It's called a Porio. And every time you plug your device into charge, it will enable the low power mode, thus charging your phone faster. And yes, this is absolutely true. It will charge you faster. How much faster? I cannot tell you exactly. To all of those people that are annoyed out there, status of all X is a great way to get rid of the volume HUD that appears directly in the middle of your content. Now type status two is one of my favorite 
favorite Cydia tweaks ever, and it's just been updated. So it'll show you when someone reads your message, but when they start to type, that's when it shows you and it'll predict the future for you. Know when you're about to receive a message with type status too. One of my favorite Cydia tweaks ever, and I highly recommend it. So what you're seeing up there is date and status bar. It'll show you your current date right next to your time. It's very handy. Don't know how many times I wish that was implemented already, but definitely a good one. But also closely related is diet bar. So shrink the navigational bars up here, make it a little bit cleaner, allowing for more room for your actual content down here. And next eye cleaner is absolutely recommended. Not only can it prevent iOS updates from ever downloading in the background, it'll help you stay on top of your storage. And this is especially useful for people with 16 or 32 gigabyte devices. And here is cream. So show the Apple watch colors or the new iOS iOS 10 colors and control center currently in iOS 9. Really great clean look. And reveal NC9 brings that animation in the notification center when sliding down. It just reveals the content instead of it popping into place. So it was briefly available in iOS 10, but no longer. But you guys can still get it right now using this tweak. And Spotlight Be Gone helps you get rid of Spotlight pages you don't use. So Apple included two of them, one for swipe down, one for swipe over. But using this, you can hide one of them. And I highly recommend you do it. It's just so much cleaner. And this coupled with Mobius allows you to infinitely scroll on your springboard. So very much an Android feature, but I mean, I play around with this so much. One of my favorite Cydia tweaks as well. And this is smooth cursor. So take a look at the cursor, how it smoothly follows the text. It's basically the animation from Microsoft Office inside of the text field. So really clean look. Also, when you uh, swipe over, it kind of brings itself down. Really cool. This coupled with swipe selection is a must. So not everyone has a 6S and to scroll, you know, you can't do that. That. With swipe selection, you can, and you can, of course, select text as well easily using the shift and backspace keys. And this is messages customizer. So customize every aspect of your messages application, including the background, the actual bubbles. You can install a gradient on them. So from higher up, they're more of a darker color. Down here, they are lighter, and it's really, really cool. You can play around with this very extensive. Also in here is send delay. So if you send a message, see something wrong with it, you have a short amount of time to stop the message from being sent. This works for both SMS and iMessage as well. It can be a real lifesaver. And a couple smaller tweaks up here. So this is Zeppelin with the Pokemon pack. So we can go ahead and change the Pokemon up here to replace our current carrier logo. And there are a ton to choose from. This is just one pack of many. So I think it's really, really neat, especially if you're playing Pokemon Go, just get in the theme. Also up here is Lithium. So Lithium allows you to change the look of your battery icon. And this look in settings is a really neat one. Circle icons, very familiar with it. It's just my go-to all the time whenever jailbreaking a device. Get a really clean look in settings. And here is Appendix. So add 3D Touch to your folders on the home screen. It'll show the four closest apps so you can go ahead and access from in here. This is something similar to what iOS 10 has right now, but in iOS 9. And here is Cuttlefish. So I really like this one because it will actually blend the 3D Touch background to the app that you are 3D touching. So it actually works with custom icons as well. So if you're using a theme, it blends very well. I absolutely love that about it. And I'm throwing this one in here as a bonus 3D no lag. You guys truly don't know what smooth is until you install this tweak. So it removes any and all lag associated with 3D touching. They're now presented in 60 frames per second animation and man is it buttery smooth. And guys, there you go. Those are my top 50 free Cydia tweaks right now. Lots of good stuff. And yeah, this is very, very much why we jailbreak to install all of these tweaks. It just changes your device completely. And I love it. Anyways, I'll keep an eye out for new tweaks for you guys. See you soon. Next video. Peace.